Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new Digino episode. So it definitely has been some time since my last Digino episode, and I thought, you know what? Bringing it back, I wanted to do a new theory. Theories have always been some of the more interesting Digino episodes and the most appreciated and well received, so I hope you guys will enjoy this one as well. And if you do and you want more like it, let me know by hitting that like button. So the theory we will be talking about today is going to be revolving around Zed. Talking about what could be his secret, his true intentions, and what he's really trying to do throughout his lore. So we'll be referencing a post made by someone called Perverted Joker. I mean, quite the, quite the name, I'm not going to lie. But I'll have a link to it down below in the description if you want to check it out and have a read for yourself. Alright guys, let's get right into the theory. Now again, this is heavily revolved around lore, but I'll try to make it as clear and understandable as I can. So it all begins with Ionia, which is a continent in the world of League of Legends that's on the east coast of Valoran that is also northeast of Noxus. Within Ionia, there are two specific orders or clans that we will be focusing on, the first of which being the Kinku Order. This is the clan where a lot of our ninjas are currently a part of, so Akali, Kennen, Shen, and even Zed before he became overtaken by the Shadows. But speaking of which, Zed then made his own clan after being overtaken by the Shadows, which he now calls the Order of the Shadows. So both of these clans, on top of also even looking at Zed's quotes and even adding some certain aspects of Jin and how he takes part in all this as well, it'll all become something very interesting. So moving back a bit and talking about the Kinku Order, I mean, what exactly is this order and what do they try to claim? They say that they exist in order to keep and protect the peace and the balance within Ionia. But the word balance can definitely mean several things. I mean, when you first look at it, you can instantly think of things along the lines of prosperity, peace, and just keeping the balance of the good. But what if this theory is all about how in fact it's actually not about that whatsoever and in fact it's quite the contrary? What if the people behind the Kinku Order or that rule the Kinku Order, so before it used to be of course Zed's master and Shen's master and even father, are actually extremely mischievous and even to the point of being evil? So let's dive into that and explain further. So we all know that Zed's lore is all about how he can never really match up to Shen to an extent where he can please his master who is also Shen's father, and how Zed ventured into a sealed part of the clan's temple where he found the box, the one that contains the power of the shadows to which he opened simply from just the temptation of the box and eventually it overtook him and became and made him what he is. Now this all seems I guess fine and you know according to Zed's lore and nothing seems completely out of the ordinary until you really think about it and think to yourself, you know what, why do the Kinku Order even keep this secret box contained deep within their own clan's temple? What was the purpose of it and why was it not destroyed. Because clearly in Zed's lore, whenever the old man, which is his master, implored Zed to enter the temple and destroy the box and lead his followers to balance, this obviously implies that this box can be destroyed and in such will also completely vanish the shadow powers. So if it is clearly able to be destroyed and the powers can be essentially sealed away forever and never being awakened again, why was this box not destroyed prior to? Why was it sealed deep within this temple? Well, we can easily assume that only several people, if not even maybe only a couple of people knew about the existence of this box since it is, again, secretly kept deep within the Kinku clan's temple. But one person I think we can all agree that knew about this existence of this box is Zed's and Shen's master, Master Kusho. So what if the balance that the Kinku order always refers to is actually all about preserving a duality, life and death, peace and war? There's another interesting quote that sort of describes Ionia and their people and what they preserve and try to be. The Ionians dedicate their lives to pursuing spiritual enlightenment instead of conflict. So at first this obviously means that they try to essentially stay away from war. They want to preserve peace through the best means possible. But from what we know so far about the Kinku Order, it seems like they try to do the dark work or the messy work and actually do in fact quite the opposite. Because the definition of what they mean by balance is just simply so skewed and the continue the existence of the box filled with shadow powers is just very questionable. But if this is the case and the Kinku Order, with no pun intended, is pretty much working from the shadows of Ionia as a mean of creating war with the ultimate goal of essentially trying to make peace, a great power is actually required. A power that is unquestionably strong enough to do the will of Ionia and obviously the Kinku. The power of the shadows. So going back once again to Master Kusho, the leader of the Kinku Order. All of the followers within his clan could be following his 
orders blindly, not knowing potentially the true intent, or most of them not even having anything to do with it, and only a select chosen few of the clan are actually carrying out the orders. So there's a very high chance that Master Kusho is the only person within the Kinku Order or the Kinku Clan that knows about the existence of this box prior to Zed's discovery of it. Even taking a very quick look at Shen's lore, the son of Master Kusho, it's about him walking around looking for demons that have been wreaking havoc, but instead at the very end, once a priest ends up walking up to Shen with a lesser demon asking him to kill it, Shen instead kills the priest, claiming it was to maintain the balance. So it is very possible that Master Kusho has told Shen and only maybe Shen about the secret box of shadow powers deep within the temple, because eventually Shen would have to be the heir to his throne. But let's move back on track towards Zed, I mean the whole purpose of this theory. So the reason that Zed was initially kicked out of the temple was because he gained access to the shadowy power, the power that only the master is meant to know about and is probably the only one that was supposed to use it in some way or form. And now Zed knowing about it and even having the powers to himself, it could jeopardize the whole secrecy of the Kinku's true goal. But years later when Zed returns to the Kinku clan, Master Kusho realized that rather than banishing Zed, maybe he should just accept him as the next master. Because in Zed's lore it says, and I quote, The old man laid his sword at Zed's feet, declaring that he had failed Zed as his master. By banishing his former student, the master had doomed Zed to the shadows instead of leading him to the balanced path. The old man implored Zed to enter the temple, destroy the box, and lead his followers to balance. The dark ninja followed the master inside, end quote. So it wouldn't be surprising if this is part of Master Kusho's plan to get Zed and talk to him in private. And when proposed with the idea of becoming the new master of the Kinku Order since Zed has the power of the shadows and is his strongest pupil, Zed may have thought that creating wars in order to preserve whatever their definition of balance is was folly and thus Kusho tried to silence him. And this is the part where we see in Zed's lore and I quote, Moments later, the assembled ninjas heard Zed cry out in pain. Mysteriously, he emerged unscathed and threw the severed head of the master at Shen's feet. Screaming in rage, Zed commanded his followers to slaughter the master's students and seize the box. But why did Zed cry out in pain? Well, it could definitely have been because of the expectations of the reconciliation with his adoptive father were betrayed and he had to kill his master, not something he wanted or intended to do. Because if that's what he wanted to do, he could have easily just killed him while he was on his knees putting down his sword in front of all of his students to really show his true power. But instead he did obey his master and respectfully followed him into the temple to where no one truly knows what really happened in there and this is where a lot of these theories stem from. Zed doesn't care about all of the other followers of the Kinku Order. The only person he cares that does survive is Shen, since Shen might be the only other person that knows the actual truth behind his father's intents. He even has a quote that he says to shed within Jin's lore, Your path's closer to mine. Your father's ideals were a weakness. Ionia could no longer afford them. Based off of all of that information, assuming it's even true, a lot of Zed's quotes now seem to just simply make a bit more sense. With this first one potentially referencing directly to Master Kusho. Balance is a fool's master. This next one is about how the Kinku ninjas knew nothing about the true goals of their order and what was happening right behind their backs. Ignorance is fatal. Or the next one about how the Order of Shadows is the actual righteous one, silencing menaces from the darkness while the Kinku order is trying to bring balance by creating more wars. The truth lies in darkness. And the final quote we'll look at is Zed's disagreement with the twisted ways of the Kinku Order, and how he believes that a ninja should not seek to create wars, but rather to swiftly deal with problems from the shadows. He doesn't believe in balance, he believes in peace without chaos. So what if this whole time that is Zed's secret? I mean, what if this whole time he's made out to look like the villain when in fact it's quite the opposite? But I did say at the beginning that Jin also has a part of this and makes things even more interesting, so let's quickly go into that next. Taking a look at Jin's lore, once an Ionian prisoner but freed by shadowy elements with Ionia's ruling council, the serial killer now works as their cabal's assassin. This even further implores the fact that there are some twisted and evil people ruling within Ionia's council, probably the people that also were in charge of the Kinku Order and the dark and secret ways of the shadowy powers and why the box may have still lived, people that may have been commanding and telling Master Kusha what to do, or for the most part even Master Kusha could have been part of this council. But the reason Jin was released is because he's perfect when it comes to killing a very big threat, the Kinku Order. And the ones who released him probably belong to a conservative party within Ionia that is aware of the Kinku's aim and that tries to get rid of Shen and Zed without getting involved directly. Since 
since the Kinku Order is officially accepted by Ionia's government. But at the end of the day, guys, I mean, that is just a theory. So let me know what you think about that. I mean, quite a lot of information. You may need to rewatch that once or twice to truly understand it and soak it up. Maybe this whole time Zed is actually the good guy. His secret plan, his secret intentions has been to destroy the Kinku Order and their false way of preserving balance from the inside. Why would the Ionian Council free someone like Jin? Why would that box exist? Why would the box not be destroyed? I mean, there's still a lot of questions, but hopefully most of them have been answered in this video. Hopefully you guys found it interesting. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button. Make sure to check out the post made by Perverter Joker down in the description below. Make sure to share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out my other videos as well. But I truly thank each and every one of you for watching and hope to see you for the next video. Peace.